Like this video and subscribe or you will get bad luck for 10 years and you definitely don't want that. Yo, what's up guys? It's AC here back for a brand new video. Today, we'll be having a look at six YouTubers that barely escaped alive. I'll be honest, guys, this one is one of the saddest videos I've ever made, so you'll definitely want to watch until the very end. You will see YouTubers who came close to losing their life but just barely got away, including Mr. Beast, Unspeakable, Jelly, and even FGTV. Coming straight in at number 6, we have a huge YouTuber called Sniper Wolf. You won't believe that if she wasn't wearing her seatbelt, she would have actually died in this clip. She was driving at night and her car got completely destroyed. You must watch this clip until the very end. I'm actually very fortunate that I am still here and able to make this video. My car was not so fortunate. But anyways, I'll tell you guys the whole story about what happened. We actually got hit by a drunk driver and I had my seatbelt on. I probably would have died if I didn't have my seatbelt on. I know I would have like flew out the window or something. I, the first thing I did was take pictures of everything, call my mom. I did a little commentary thing video here. This guy just crashed us at a light. He's still in the fucking car. He's like drunk or asleep or I don't know what. Look what the fuck happened to my car. I was sitting at the fucking light and then I, my head goes flying. If I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, I would have fucking died. I would have fucking died. Next up on the list, coming in at number 5, we have a huge YouTuber called Roda Shaw, or WTS. He was doing a blindfolded soccer video with his friends, and one of them ended up running into a fence and getting a huge cut on his face. This was so bad, and there was so much blood all over his face that he nearly died. So you must watch this clip until the very end. I can promise that it's nothing like anything you've ever seen before. So, uh, that video ended slightly early, because, yeah. Don't run blindfolded, kids. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. At number four, we have Mr. Beast, and he was doing a crazy video, trying to stay underwater for 24 hours. Although this challenge was so hard and Mr. Beast almost died doing this, because he felt so seasick being underwater for so long, he ended up having to stop the challenge. So watch this video until the very end because Mr. Beast could have even drowned doing this challenge. Make sure to watch until the very end. It's crazy. I'm going to attempt to sit underwater for 24 hours straight because counting to 100,000 wasn't hard enough. So we put a box underwater and we filled said box with air. And my goal is to sit inside said box, which is underwater for 24 hours, AKA spend 24 hours straight underwater. Yeah. I hate to disappoint you guys, but I randomly started feeling extremely sick while sitting underwater and I had to come out. Like I just had this strong urge to throw up. I think it's because the water was constantly moving. I was just getting really seasick under there. Just after a while, it just really got to me and I just really couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to power through, but I just couldn't. My leg is literally shaking. Stop shaking, you're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I would really not recommend any of you guys do this. I have a massive freaking Headache. My head hurts. It's literally throbbing. Tyler, can I go home? I feel terrible. That was a horrible idea. Coming straight in at number three, we have Jelly. And he was on a roller coaster ride with his girlfriend, I Am Santa. And basically, he ended up hitting his head right off the pole while the ride was going. When his head hit the pole, the sound of it was so loud. So he must have hit his head really hard. It's crazy. Guys, you must check it out, so don't click off the video. Really fast. Look guys, this kind of looks good. 
I, I, I think. I, I think it's good. For number two, we have Vicstar123, and he was on a vacation with his friends. They were out skiing when one of his friends dared him to do a super crazy trick, and Vicstar123 ended up breaking his arm. This is so much worse than it sounds, so you must watch this clip all the way through. It's literally insane as he almost passed away. Just take a look for yourself. It was at this moment that he knew. My shoulder's really hurting after that one. Oh. How'd the jump go, Vic? How you feeling, Vic? Not awful. I think the painkillers from earlier are starting to hit. Not looking forward to this, but... What do you think? I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> the painkillers are definitely is, starting is, to hit. Okay, so chilling at my hospital bed for the night with Lachlan and Elliot and Billy. So at number one, we have FGTV and the entire family was on vacation and Duddy decided to go on the roof of the apartment that they were staying on and slide down it as if it was a water slide. Little did he know that there was a crazy drop off after this to the ground and he nearly fell down off the roof. This clip is so crazy as Duddy almost died by falling down to the ground. You definitely don't want to miss this clip. It's so crazy how lucky Duddy got. I think where we're staying has a roof access. Let's go see. I think we can go out on the roof. This kind of stinks. The roof faces opposite of the beach. Hello, parking lot. My God, you're gorgeous. Whoa, I want to go up there. Oh, yo, this place comes with a water slide. The following stunt should be tried by no one ever. It is extremely dangerous. You will lose brain cells just by watching. You've been warned. Daddy, what are you doing? Actually, this probably isn't smart. Yeah, what are you doing? There's a water Daddy. slide and then the edge of the house. Oh my. Okay, what? Wait, wait, no, we have to get thumbnail, thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, oh my god. How is this? Wow, see, see this. Oh my gosh, dude. Who would put a water slide at the edge of the roof? Two, three. Oh! Tots, you gotta try this. <laughs> <laughs>